Hey, what's up? In this episode, I'll be showing you guys how to fix your UE error happening on your washing machine. So UE error is not much to worry about on the LG washing machines. It's simply your washing machine telling you that it's got an unbalanced load. So for a washing machine to work properly, the weight on the left and on the right side has to balance. So if that doesn't happen, that's when you get the UE error. So normally to fix that, what you'd need to do is just pause the cycle that you've got on and open the door. Now I know your model might look different to this one, but it's the same principle with LG washing machines. So simply when that happens, when you get the UE error, so you just check what load you've put in there. So with washing machines, it's mostly about the volume than it is about the weight. So if you put in too much, it then it will give you a UE error. If you put in not enough, it will give you a UE error. So not enough would be say maybe you're putting in one, one sock or one shirt or two. It's a fairly big washing machine. So you need to actually load it up a bit. So as a rule of the thumb, the best thing to do would be to put it about halfway up the door. The other thing I'd also check is how much you're actually putting in there. So um, you, you're looking at the different types of fabric that you're putting in there. So obviously you really want to separate your fabrics from your sheets and your bedding. So if you mix up things like sheets with clothes, sheets tend to clog up everything in one big ball. And before you know it, it's just one big ball running around and then the washing machine won't be able to balance the weight on the left and the right side. So if you see in here, there's three pedals. So one, two, three. We'll just move in a bit closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So inside the washing machine there, there's about three pedals there that control and distribute the weight in your washing machine. So if you understand how it works, it will help you to be able to troubleshoot what's going on with your washing machine. So it distributes the weight using these pedals. So one, two, and three. So you need to make sure that you've properly put your clothes in there and then these pedals are able to properly distribute the weight on the left and on the right side. So it won't go into a high spin if it detects that there is too much, there's too much uh, weight on one side. So that's why it takes some time for it to get up to speed because it's trying to distribute the weight on the left and on the right side. So that's about it. The other thing you also want to check is um, the amount of clothes you've put in there. So as I said before, you put it halfway up the door. Another thing that can affect your washing machine's balance is washing things like blankets or doonas, heavy things. Those things tend to soak up a lot of water. They're like sponges. And then before you know it, it's 15, 16, 18 kilos. So the washing machine won't know what to do with all that weight. And then that's why it just throws at you that UE error because it's just asking for a bit of help from you to help it to balance the weight of the clothes in the washing machine. So when that happens, take some of the clothes out of the washing machine redistribute it and then close the door and then restart the cycle. When you restart the cycle, that should sort out the issue. Another thing you want to watch out for while you're doing all these checks is you actually want to check if your washing machine is properly balanced. So by properly balanced, I mean, is it sitting right? Because if it's not sitting right, it's if it's wobbling, it's obviously going to throw a um, unbalanced error at you. So what you want to do is sort of lean the washing machine towards you and then on the other side, lean it. So any, you don't want it rocking about like a rocking chair. You want it nice and firm because these things spin pretty fast. So this one would spin up to about 1300 RPM. So you want it to be really, 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 really firm and not going anywhere. So just to recap it, make sure you wash the same fabrics in there. You don't mix fabrics. 
If you do mix fabrics, put it on a mixed fabric setting, but I recommend you separate your sheets from everything else, separate your jackets from everything else, your jeans from everything else, shirts from everything else. That way the washing machine tends to balance everything out in the way that it knows best to do. And then it won't throw UE error at you and then you have um, no problems at all. If you have any questions, if you're having any trouble with your model, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you. If you found any value in this video, gently smash that like button. It goes a long way to help this channel so that other people can discover great content like this. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as I do post a lot of videos covering the folds and fixes for most washing machines. So I specialize in LG, a Bosch, Fisher & Paykel, you name it. You never know what's gonna break next on your washing machine and it will be handy to have me in your inbox. And as always, if you have any other issues besides this one, I can always make a video and help you out so that you know the right fix to do for your washing machine. So that's about it. Don't wash blankets in it. Half the load is enough wash sheets on their own you want to check how much you've put in there halfway up the door that's your maximum wash load and you want to make sure that the washing machine is sitting on a flat surface that is not bouncing around as it tries to wash another thing that you might want to also try is you might want to take out the clothes and run it with nothing in it so just take out the clothes start it and so you press the power and then put it on spin so just make it spin with no clothes in it if it doesn't give you a ue error then that means that something is going on with your wash load another thing that might cause this fault would be the shocks on your washing machine i do have another video in my lg washing machine repair playlist on how to deal with that because sometimes as the years go by the grease in the shocks that hold this washing machine in place they wear out and you need to put some long lasting grease on it so if you even some bicycle grease if you've got some in your house that will do and that will take care of any issues that you'd have on this washing machine great washing machines to have so if you have any questions comment section below and i will get back to you Till next time, cheers.